hassle. Today at the rally, you talked about the potential, if it's appropriate, of pardoning some of the January 6ers. Yeah. Lindsey Graham said a couple days later he thinks that's inappropriate. I feel the brain. What do you think? Well, Lindsey Graham's wrong. I mean, Lindsey's a nice guy, but he's a rhino. Lindsey's wrong. True. Look, he's a rhino. They tried to burn down Washington. We took in federal buildings. They were terrible. Every Democrat city was on fire, and nobody says anything about it. Antifa and BLM were causing such problems, including death. Don't forget. Uh, with the exception of one young, fine woman, nobody died on January 6th. Nobody mm. died on January 6th. They like to say five people, but nobody died on January 6th. It's 6th. not true. There's like literally other... What? There are quite literally other people. Like there was a woman that got trampled and shit. Like what? That's not even true. Other people died in the protests. The no, one nobody, person, was, nobody was intentionally killed. The one her. person yeah. who died was Ashley Babbitt. She was killed by a ruthless man that never should have used his gun to shoot her. She was killed. And he's a hero to the left. That cop is a hero. I think it's a left. disgrace. And in fact, they wanted to shield him, but he couldn't get Dude, it. Dude, I love that he's just going on Newsmax now. Like, he's not even fucking... He's, he's gone beyond Fox News, okay? I love that. On television. Because, like, if you think Fox News is bad, and they are bad, right? There's a degree of, like, at least some level of competence that Fox News still has to demonstrate that Newsmax does not. Like, that guy could literally recite the 14 words, like, straight up. Fox at least has to hide it within other rhetoric on the Tucker Carlson broadcast, of course, where he has to say stuff like, why can't we care about our families? You know, that sort of shit. Whereas on Newsmax, he could just straight up say 14 words. It's awesome. Television fast enough. Mm -hmm. I saw his interview mm -hmm. and he thinks it was great. I mean, look at this interview. Her. Like, look at this interview. Look at the things that he is saying right now. He's like, yeah, there's a, that cop is a hero to the left. Like, no one knows who the fuck that cop is. He's like a secret service guy. And killed her. And she didn't have a gun. She didn't have anything. There was no reason to do that. It's a disgrace. That's but fine. she was the person that died. And they don't treat, they're not treating these people the same way. You don't see with all of the killing and all of the fires and all of the burning, including of federal buildings, they tried to burn down the courthouses. I stopped them in Minnesota, in Minneapolis. We sent in the National Guard. This is always funny because he's like, he's like, I want cops to kill for me. I don't want cops to kill my people and my supporters. I want them to kill for me. Believe it. Believe I'm me. I'm not even supposed to be doing that. That's supposed to be up to the Democrat governor. These are all Democrat-run areas. But with all of that, you don't see anybody going to jail and being treated like these people. These no. people are being treated. This is also one of the funniest fucking memes, okay? This idea that no one went to jail for participating in, like, Black Lives Matter protests is just not true. Kiss me it is categorically false okay it's just such an insanely false take i don't know what the actual numbers are i don't know and i'm surprised no one in like mainstream media has actually done uh, a report on this but like yes of course there are people i mean i know people that have gone to jail daniel shaver is an example of an anarchist who like went to fucking jail just for posts okay beyond that like, why the fuck were there bail funds if people weren't straight up getting fucking mobbed up and locked up? They don't go to jail. Most of them go to hospital. Not true. Not true. They bagged and tagged hella people. You are wrong. 4,500 were arrested. 1743 were charged. Where'd you find horribly. that? I would absolutely, because some of them are being treated very unfairly. Yeah, I would absolutely give them a pardon. The, the punishments if things are don't out work of out. Oh fair. wait, no, I'm not talking about Daniel Shaver. Fuck, I said the wrong. No, 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 no. Daniel Shaver was uh, murdered by the police. Uh, what's the fucking dude? The the Florida anarchist. Daniel Baker, not Daniel Shaver. Sorry.
Daniel Baker is who I was thinking of. Figures show stark difference between arrests at DC Black Lives Matter protests. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's fucking. Okay, here it is. Black Lives Matter arrests arrest at the Capitol. What? What? Why is it? What? Oh my god, it keeps it, oh, it keeps refreshing. I can't. Okay, it worked. Fucking I'm in. I love stealing content. I am such a fucking thief, dude. Oh my god, I love doing theft. It's my favorite thing to do. Please. Oh. Mm. Anyway. I think it should be illegal to pay while articles straight up. Sorry. You fucking cheap ass himbo hog. God damn it. Dude, I am a thief, okay? I love content theft. Not only do I... I love content theft so much, I, sh I show you ways of stealing content from me if you want to fucking do that, even though everything is pretty much free. I don't give a fuck, okay? I don't give a fuck. It's awesome. I would love to download a car. I hate the idea that, that people say... I, I hate that fucking app because, like, you want to download a car? Bitch, if you could download a car, do you know how many fucking cars I'd be downloading? I would urge everyone to download a car. Okay, I'd be like, definitely download a car, dude. Shut the fuck up. Anyway. It's not just the arrest. People were permanently maimed by less than lethal rounds. Yup, that's that's true. Anyway, data on unrest-related arrests from Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police highlighting the stark difference between authorities cracking down on racial justice protests last summer and an overwhelming and an underwhelming law enforcement last Wednesday. Okay. 52 people were arrested on Washington, D.C. Wednesday after Trump supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol and interrupted Congress. Officials investigated the, uh, investigated the situation further. Even if you paid for a subscription to these sites, I'm sure they wouldn't love you sharing that subscription with 35,000 people. Yeah, also, fuck that. Like, I'm not going to buy a fucking subscription to Forbes, dude. I'm sorry. Like, get the fuck out of here. I just, I don't, I don't agree with it. Figure out a way to fund it, brother. I'm sorry. Hey, daddy. The only media outlet I give money to is Democracy Now!, Anyway, I don't care. Check out 12feet.io. Um, I agree with you, but how is it different than TV? I mean, I don't think... I don't want to pay for TV either. I think I should be able to steal television stuff too. I don't care. Yeah, I know. I know. How are we going to fund it? Yeah, you'll figure it out. That's your problem, not mine. I mean, I literally watch MasterChef on here. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't care. Also, fuck Forbes even writing shit about Modi for fucking repealing the neoliberal farm laws. I'm sending an IM to Sam Cedar telling me you don't have an MR membership. Okay. You gonna react to that person's video about you reacting? No, dude. No. Ew. Ew. Get away. Get away. Ew. 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 No. I'm not gonna fucking react to a person who made a video, who made a second video about me after a 10 hour fucking podcast about me from, for reacting to a video of theirs from five years, I mean, from five years ago, from a year ago. Okay. No, ew, stop. You're gross and pathetic. Stop it. Stop it. 
Oh man, imagine the LSF third a few months ago for that. So glad you're off there. Oh dude, I know. That would have been num 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 num. That would have been so delicious for LSF. They would have loved that shit, dude. Early. Punishments are out of proportion to the crime. Out of proportion, like 20 times out of proportion. Mm -hmm. These people are being persecuted. And the other ones, when they, they caught people who killed people, they want to give them the minimum sentence. They, they're out there fighting for a minimum sentence. No, it's a very unfair situation. Black Lives Matter, uh, Antifa, and others, these radical left people. I mean, you have the vice president trying to bail everybody out of jail, but they weren't in jail very long. It was pretty easy to do. Yeah. And getting the bail was very easy. One of the best things, I got to mention this as well, but one of the best things that, about being banned from LSF is that I also never go on LSF anymore. Like, I just don't go on it at all, which makes me a lot. Like, I think it just, like, frees me a little bit in and, and my brain space. Like, even now, sometimes I'll see, like, negative shit, and I'll seek it out. Like in the mornings, especially, I'll be looking for like negative commentary about me because, you know, I can't stop myself. It's just something I cannot stop about myself. Okay. And I, I catch myself way, way faster. Like, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing right now? Like, why am I? You know, why am I reading this shit? And then I immediately stop, which is really good. But sometimes I also want to, I also want to make sure LSF lives in your head rent free. No, 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 not at all. I don't even, I never go on LSF anymore. LSF is done for me, but um, no, but I will sometimes seek out uh, like negative comments. But part of it is also because like, I don't ever want to fucking, I don't ever want to miss uh, like a good criticism, you know what I mean? But it's really, really difficult to find like actual constructive criticism because it's always, it's all most of the criticism that's like deranged, psychotic, pathological is couched as good criticism or like constructive criticism. So it's really fucking difficult, uh, to, to find the actual constructive shit. LSF is not, we're not talking about LSF. I'm talking about other kinds of other ave avenues. There's a lot of other avenues. I don't think that video command would nearly be as hard as you made it out to be. It wouldn't be that hard to have a mod copy of the YouTube video. Dude, we're, we're having the, the dumbest conversation. Not a single fucking streamer does this. I show whatever fucking content creator we're watching like 90% of the time, the 1% that I, 99% of the time, the 1% that I fucking missed is, is uh, a, a percentage that I apologize for already. We're, we're fucking done. This is from one year ago, dude. You are literally, you're literally crying about a video from a year ago that I watched for five minutes. Like that's insane. Okay. Uh, I, I just, I don't know how to do it. If someone wants to do that, if someone wants to figure out how we could do that, I would love to do it, okay? I would love to do it. If someone knows how to do it, sure, I'll do it. If, you know, if no one puts it together or figures it out, I'm not doing it, okay? But that's not, like, if you're looking for good criticism, then honestly, React vids would be a good place to look. Wait, what? Bro, you take everything as a fucking attack. Calm down. You just made a suggestion, Jesus. Dude, dude, what you don't understand is you don't have 38 uh, or, or 36,000 micromanagers up your fucking asshole all day, okay? So you don't understand what it, what's going on, okay? Like, you do not understand what's going on. You're like, dude, it's just a suggestion. You know how many fucking suggestions motherfuckers do to me? Uh, give me all day, every day. I mean, I fucking freak out about this shit. Why don't you invite black lefties on your stream? Shut the fuck up. Suck my dick. And I do. So shut the fuck up. Um, don't forget to run the top of the hour ad break.
Like, see, it's happening. It's already happening. The moment that I like react to chat, the moment that I react to chat, boom, everyone comes crawling out of the fucking woodwork to like be like, oh, this is it. It's time to fucking micromanage. It's time to fucking write some dumb shit in the chat. He's going to read it. He's going to respond to it. He's going to read it. He's going to respond to it. Anyway. So. <sighs> I yell at chatters when they also ask or have uh, honest suggestions like, why don't you use a caption uh, service? Why don't you change the audio dial? A lot of those people are actually fucking asking and suggesting things for good reason. Like they, they are, they think they are, but I yell at them as well. Why are you hyper-focusing on this particular individual? Why are you losing your shit? This is it. This is time to micromanage. Yeah, it is. These people are in jail. Okay. Jail in a horrible, disgusting, dirty jail, so bad that the court system, which is very left, is angry that people have to live like this. And some of these people are not guilty. Many of these people are not guilty. What they've done to, to these, and in many cases, patriots, they're soldiers, they're policemen. What they've done to them compared to what they've done to the other side, you know, you have to have equal justice. And this is an equal. No. So I would absolutely no, be no. prepared. And Lindsey Graham doesn't know what the hell he's talking about if he says that, because you have to have equal justice. It's very, very unfair what's happened to this group of people. The core system is very leftist. He's right. He's just a truth teller, and you're just fucking jealous of him being able to tell the truth. I want to start with obviously the most pressing uh, situation I think this country has right now, which is the situation between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, it's a situation that... Uh, I can make an extension for you that would put the current tabs in your URL and chat out of command if that would be useful. Why would I literally load a keylogger onto my computer, man? No, that would not be useful. That would be absolute insanity, okay? Yeah, please. Please, dude. Because some fucking random YouTuber made a, a, a valid criticism uh, about me or some shit that, like, is launched at zero other people, by the way. Zero other fucking Twitch streamers. Just me, for some weird, suspicious reason. Yeah, let me just download a fucking keylogger, dude. Like, that's crazy. I'm not going to do that. A lot of people, a lot of Republicans think, and the Ukrainians think, that President Biden has made worse. Um, if, if in this situation, all of a sudden you were handed the gavel, you can run the whole situation, what exactly would you do today to fix it? Well, it's a tricky question because it wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened. This was not even thinkable. And uh, China wouldn't have happened. And you know, what's, what's going to happen with Taiwan now and lots of other problems. What do you, you think is going to happen? Uh, I think that after the Olympics, it'll be a very interesting period of time because they see the way we withdrew from Afghanistan, the horrible way, not the fact that we did, because I, I was the one that got it down to 2,000 soldiers, but we were getting out with strength and dignity and the equipment and no death. Uh, what happened is terrible and the world watched and they watch our borders where people are flooding into our country. We have no idea who they are, where they right. come from. And uh, things are happening now that are very bad. I've never seen anything like what's happening to our country. But let's, let's say right now Biden calls you up and says, I have no idea what to do here. Tell me what to do. What would well, you, you say have to, to do with this moment? have to reject strength. Yeah. He doesn't have any respect for our leadership. He doesn't have any respect for our country anymore. They respected our country. And frankly, they respected our leader a year ago. This was not something that was ever going to happen. Supply chain was never going to happen. Many things weren't going to happen. Inflation, when you look at that, you look at the crime rate in the cities, what's happening to Democrat-run cities. Yeah. Uh, but this was something in Ukraine that was never going to happen. This was not on the books. They Should would they have go never after the pipeline? Well, I think this was something that Putin would have always liked to have done, but he didn't see the opportunity, certainly not in the not last few years. Yeah. So uh, Victor Davis, Han Davis Hansen, who's a terrific, I think, historian and philosopher, said, one thing with Trump, nothing happened during the Trump years with respect to Russia. Mm -hmm. Much happened before, you know that, and much happened right now after. But nothing happened 
Frankly, nothing happened with respect to any country. They didn't take advantage of us. We got back in the swim. We made better trade deals. We did a lot of good things, but nothing happened. Nothing happened. Very much happened, but also nothing happened. And all the good things happened while I was president. And all the bad things happened while I wasn't president, believe me. It's so good, dude. What a fucking brilliant guy, dude. I fuck. How do you not? How do you not respect this man? Happened that was negative to the United States. You a lot can't. of Republicans are calling for the transcripts of the phone call between Zelensky and Biden. Uh, the, the phone call has been reported was a nightmare, yeah. uh, even reported by CNN to have been a nightmare. They went after for they me. Went hard it would have been a beautiful dream. A call. Do you think Biden not a will nightmare? Believe me, that you did. Well, I gave mine out very openly. They didn't even yeah. ask for them. I gave them out because they made up my phone call. They said I said this and that eight times, quid pro quo. Eight times. You're going to say eight times? I want this, I want that. Eight times the same thing. <clears throat> Just so crazy. It was Schiff, he's a nut job, and all these people. No, I gave mine out, and it's lucky we had a transcript because they lied about my call. They lied totally. I got impeached over a, a fake, phony story that they made up. Uh, it would be interesting to see the call. I suspect the call was pretty much like they said, but uh, it's not going to change anything. Mm -hmm. Not going to change anything, but it certainly would be interesting to see it. And do you think Russia makes any moves? Do you think it's, they go? It's in? looking like they will. Yeah. I would have said it's not even possible. This is not something that ever would have happened if we were there. Yeah. Uh, but it's looking to me, Rob, like they will make a move. The first year of this presidency. By the way, excuse me. Yeah. At a minimum, yeah. they're going to negotiate a lot of good stuff. <laughs> Because if they don't make a move, yeah. Biden will give them everything. Yeah. The first year of this presidency, Wait, what? I know you have a lot of thoughts about that. There's a 17 percent approval of the direction that this country is going in right now. 17 percent of Americans think is we're going in the right direction. Is that the lowest it, ever? It might be. I, I don't know the answer. Can't to that, imagine. Got, I can't imagine low. it being much lower unless, you know, maybe I've the Great Depression, maybe the Great Depression. But um, that's a Gallup poll, by the way. Your reaction to that? Well, I've never heard of a number like that. That's the lowest number I've ever heard. Yeah. So I don't know if it's a record. Or not. No one, is, no one has had lower numbers in the history of numbers. This is the lowest number we have arrived at. But as you say, the Great Depression. Maybe if they ever did it during they the Great Depression, yeah. there was no money to do polls in the Great Chat Depression. Chat saying sixteen, not a real number. That's not real. Everyone knows it starts with seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That's how it works. Right. Yeah. But uh, 15 is not real. No, it's a terrible number. It's it's and it's probably high. Do you the, the, the biggest I think the biggest problem that we have of all the problems that we've accumulated in the last year has got to be inflation. You've got regular Americans that work hard are much poorer underneath this administration than they were a year ago or two years ago. And the inflation is very bad. It doesn't indicate that it's going to slow down Doesn't look like it's going to slow down. What needs to be done? This, this is the stuff that you guys did well. You guys were great with economic stuff. You had a great team, a great economic team. What should they do? What does the Fed need to do to nip this right now so it doesn't get any worse? I don't really think it's the biggest problem, but it's a real big one. I think the biggest problem is what's happening on our border. Uh, millions and millions of people are coming into our country. We have no yeah. idea who they are. And not only millions of people. Damn, why did he drop the inflation? That's like a good talking point against Biden. Maybe because he doesn't want interest rates to increase. You know what I mean? Too rich to care? Guys, Don of course he's rich as fuck, but Donald Trump's beauty doesn't come... Donald Trump's beauty is that, like... Regardless of how fucking wealthy he is, regardless of how wealthy he is, he knows how to read the room. So if he's dropping a talking point, it's legitimately surprising that he's dropping a talking point against Biden that he could normally use. Man, hope you're having a good stream. Millions coming in, but being, more being sent out in this administration. Probably the interest rate play, that's a good take. I mean, it, most likely... No, Donald Trump knows what a fucking how to deal with uh, the 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 Donald Trump knows how to deal with inflation. Chad, shut the fuck up. Like every rich person knows what the ultimate solution is, so they can fucking advocate against it. Okay. Oh, but billions and billions of dollars worth of drugs at a level ten times what it was a year ago, and I think that's probably the biggest problem right now because that's. Uh, going to take a long time to fix. Yeah. But inflation could be done uh, much 
more easily, frankly, if you got your energy costs down. Inflation was hurt very badly by the energy because when I was there, it was $1.87 a gallon for gas. And now you know what it is? It's, it's like five, six, and even- Yeah, it was $1.87 because of COVID. What the fuck? Like, dude, I don't understand. Like, I, how, how do you say that? $7 in places in California. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's that's a I mean, that stuff is like really fucking stupid. Like, first of all, comparing California gas prices to Texas is ridiculous. California literally has an extra tax for gas prices. OK. Like we voted for it. And not only that, but also like saying it was 187 in the middle of covid is so fucked up. Like, what was it before covid dickhead? Like. I mean, this is, I love Donald Trump. Obviously, he's brilliant. He's very funny, very charismatic. But, like, this is so bad. Like, that's just, like, such a fucking classic, idiotic, take, like, dumb guy take. Threefold increase. I think that if you got the uh, energy down, we were energy independent first time in many, many decades. I mean, maybe ever. They say 72 years. I think maybe ever. And we were energy independent. Think of that. Yeah. And we had low gasoline and fuel prices, energy prices. And now they've gone up so much that I think they have driven the price of almost everything up because energy is all invasive. It's but did milk prices go up threefold in this time? Because that's like saying traffic was lower when there were lockdowns. Wait, what? No, the reason why they could control uh, agricultural and milk production, which is why they dumped out a bunch. So they could fucking stabilize prices. Remember, we talked about this. Whereas with gas, you have to rely on OPEC. With oil, you have to rely on OPEC. It's all over, right? And I really think if you got the energy prices down very substantially, inflation would have a chance to come down. Would, should, should the Fed, the Fed's talking about interest rate hikes in this year. I think there may be maybe three or four hikes this year. A lot of people, a lot of economists have said, even on my show, that they, they yeah, got- Yeah, gas was cheap during 2020 because no one was buying it due to COVID. Barrels of crude were literally worth negative dollars, so production ramped down. And in 2021, it's expensive because we didn't have enough supply for the increased demand. As a matter of fact, today, or I guess technically yesterday, OPEC literally got together and uh, talked about how they are going to increase their production once again in order to fucking readjust to the inflation. So uh, you're- so the idea that like oil prices are directly related to uh, direct oh, directly related to the current administration is I don't know I mean there are things that uh, the administration can do but If anything, Biden's trying to lower gas prices, he's pro-fracking. Got to hike more than they're anticipating doing if they want to get this under control. Do we need a dramatic hike? They've kept it low for a long time. Yeah. You know. uh, you're know, you going to have to do something about the inflation, and that's yep. one of the ways that you, you solve the inflation problem. I was here when the prime rate went to 21%. That was during the Jimmy Carter years. See? And the same thing could happen right that's now. That's why I said, dude, there's no way he doesn't know how to fucking... Dude, he's rich. Rich guys know how to fucking, uh, you know, deal with inflation, okay? I love that chatters were like, Donald Trump doesn't know what to do about inflation. Like, no, of course they know, because they have to fucking advocate against it. Yeah. Energy costs are so high. We're going back to OPEC, and we're going to Russia to ask for energy for the East Coast of the United States. Can you believe it? They're the ones supplying it. You know, New England, which is tends to be on the liberal side, has the highest energy prices in the country, and they're fueled by Russia. <laughs> the whole thing, it's not even, who, who can even believe this? We were, we didn't need anybody's energy when I was there. We were energy independent, we made our own, and it was very inexpensive. The, the funniest thing is after all the, the pandering that we saw over climate change from this administration, yeah. I mean, they, they sold themselves as warriors on this issue. The Washington Post reporting that the Biden administration has outpaced your administration in issuing drilling on public lands for oh so what's up yeah, exactly so what's up what's up what's up with that it's true by the way so what's up with that huh what is he gonna say oil and gas which to me 
frankly, is hilarious. How ridiculous does that look to you after everything that they said? Well, it's pretty ridiculous. And I, I think that, you know, the bottom line is we're taking in a lot less energy because we don't have energy to fuel ourselves. Yeah. So, you know, we had tremendous amounts of excess energy, so much so that I filled up the strategic reserves He's like, first time in He's uh, like, I, I develop more energy without drilling. I actually love the climate now. I hate climate change and I love saving the environment now. Believe me. 40 years that they were right to the top. They were empty. And now Biden is using the strategic reserves that to I filled oil up prices. to <laughs> try and prices. reduce oil prices. Can you believe this? And they're not meant for that. They're meant no. in case of war, etc. But I filled them up. 75 million barrels. I filled them up at very low prices. He did. He's the best, dude. Jen Psaki. Oh, right, this was uh, so fucking cringe, dude. Okay. Uh, while I, I don't know, like I've, my, my commentary on like what to do about Joe Rogan's COVID misinfo is basically just 